All right, guys, welcome back to another video. I'm going to show you guys how to deploy your music bot to Heroku, which is a free service. Um, one thing I will mention is that Heroku does have limited hours. Um, Heroku is pretty reliable, in my opinion. It's pretty nice. Um, there are some limitations, obviously, but it's free and it's awesome. Um, if you add a credit card, though, they do give you an extra 450 hours each month, which is a total, I think, of... I'm not sure how many free hours they give you, though, but I know you do get at least, I think, about... I think I have a total of 1,000 hours for free, um, but it's fine. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on Heroku, all right? I'm in the dashboard right now. I'm going to click on new. I'm going to create a new app, and I'm going to say uh, DJS Music Bot, and hopefully that works. United States or your region, whatever. Uh, create app. Okay, so now you can deploy your... Uh, you can deploy your project whichever one of these three ways you want. I think the easiest is probably using GitHub. You could use the... Uh, the Heroku Git CLI, but I'm not really that familiar with it, so we're just going to use GitHub. Okay, and we're going to go and get our GitHub repository. So I'm just going to show you guys. You want to make sure you have your repository. So command over here. Okay, so this this repository can be public or private. It doesn't really matter. Um, you just need to make sure that your Heroku, your GitHub account is authorized. Um, or yeah, you want to make sure Heroku has access to, uh, you know, your GitHub account. So you want to make sure you connect it. So I'm going to search command and that should pop up, connect it. So that's connected. You also want to make sure if you have problems with, let's say it says something about unauthor unauthorized, just try disconnecting and reconnecting. But the ch chances are uh, the reason why you're getting that error is because your entire repository is empty. Okay, I made a video about that on how to fix it. Um, so definitely check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, so we're going to enable automatic deploys. So every single time we push to our remote repository, it's going to auto deploy and we should be good for now. So next thing we're going to do is if I go to logs, nothing's going to happen right now. Before we even deploy our bot, a couple things we need to do. So right now in our code, I have, I'm using this config.json file. Instead of using that file, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all of our private information on the server, on the Heroku environment. So you're going to go over to settings, you're going to click reveal config vars, and you're going to say token, yeah, token, and you're going to paste in your bot token right over there, and you're going to add it. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for owner ID. Owner ID and prefix is going to be dash Okay, so the reason why you want to do this is obviously um, I don't want to deploy my config.json file to the to my GitHub. I mean, I could and it'll work, but again, you would have to keep your code private. So it doesn't really matter essentially, but this is a more, this is a much better way. And I think it's better practice to set environment variables and use those environment, use those environment variables. Okay, um, so we're going to get rid of this and we're going to change our credentials over here or the, uh, the way we're referencing it. So if you want to reference these values, what we need to do is we need to say process.env, and then the name of the variable, these are environment variables, the name of the variable that we set. So for owner ID, we call it owner ID. For command prefix, we did prefix. And for our token, we're going to do process.env.token in caps. Remember, it's case sensitive, so just remember that. And um, that should be it for now. Okay, so we don't need this config.json, but I'm just going to leave it there. Uh, the next thing you want to do is we're going to go into our repository over here, and you want to initialize it with npm. So we're going to say npm init, and we're going to say dash y. So this is going to create a package.json file. This file is important because Heroku is basically going to look into your project. It's going to look in your project and it's look for the package.json file and it's going to install all of the dependencies. Okay, so inside this package.json file, we need to make sure we have our dependencies listed and we also need the start script. So the start script is just going to be start and then node and then the name of your uh, entry entry point of your app. So in this case, where I'm logging my bot in, so bot.js, I'm going to say node, bot.js, okay? And since this is in the root directory, I can just do uh, bot.js. If it was in like a different folder, I would have to specify the path to it, okay? 
So we have a total of four dependencies that we need to install and make sure it's listed in this package.json file. So I'm going to go ahead and say npm install dash dash save. And I'm going to say discord.js because we have that as a dependency. Discord.js commando uh, node opus. Um, and I think the other one was ytdl dash core. Okay, so this is going to install the dependencies and you're gonna notice that it's gonna create a node modules folder in just a couple of seconds. But the important part here is it's gonna create a, a key. It's gonna add a key called dependencies and it's going to map to an object with all of the dependencies. So you'll just see in just a sec. And while it's installing, I'm gonna go ahead and create a proc file because we need this to actually keep our bot running 24 seven inside the proc file. Make sure it's capital P because it's case sensitive. Otherwise it won't work. You're going to want to do worker colon and you're going to say uh, node bot.js. OK, and bot.js is our entry point to our bot application. So and that's all there is for that. Now you're going to notice that we have a package lock.json file. You don't have to worry about this um, in the node modules folder. I recommend making a dot get ignore folder and adding the node modules folder and the package lock.json because we don't want that on github okay um and that will ignore these all of these uh all these files or directories whenever you push to github okay so if you look in your package.json you're going to see we have our dependencies all listed here so heroku is going to look at the package.json and it's going to install all of the all of these dependencies for us okay so that way our, our our app will actually work so once you have all of that set up we're going to just simply git add we're going to stage all of our changes so everything that we just modified is going to be staged so everything over here is going to be staged we're going to say git commit deploying to heroku and we're going to say git push password okay all right awesome so now that's going to appear on our github you're going to see 10 commits we have the package.json Awesome. All right, let's go over to the Heroku. If you go to overview, it's gonna say build in progress. If you go to logs, you're gonna see build start by user. If you go to deploy, you can, um, or there should be a log file somewhere, but I'm, I don't think it's over there. But um, anyways, let's just wait for this. So view logs. So the build is currently, uh, it's, currently it's currently building it right now. So you just gotta wait a couple of seconds. If it fails, it'll tell you, and you gotta fix whatever you need to fix. But uh, it's build in progress, so we just gotta wait a little bit. All right, build succeeded, done, launching. Okay, so it got deployed. Starting process with command npm start. So it start the process, bot has logged in, and if you go over to overview, so one thing we need to make sure we do is you're gonna notice that your bot is gonna go offline in just a sec. So right now our bot is currently online right now, okay? But it's going to go offline because we're using the web process, and this is why we need the proc file, okay? So we need to go over here. If you have the proc, if you set the proc file correctly, again, make sure it's, it's case sensitive, so make sure it's capital P, okay? Let's just check over here. It hasn't went offline yet. I want it to go offline, but anyways. So you go over to configure dynos, make sure you click on this pencil icon, turn off the web, confirm, turn on worker, confirm, you're done, go back to view logs. It's gonna say scale to web, free worker, free user. Okay, starting process with command node bot.js, bot has logged in, and now our bot is going to stay online 24 seven for as long as it doesn't crash, uh, given that there's no, you know, no error happens. Okay, so there's one more thing that we need to do, but I'm going to show you what happens if you don't do this. So this is very important. Okay, so right now our music bot should work. So if I do dash join, you're going to notice that it says an error occurred. So typically this error, sh so you shouldn't see this message on the on the server, but the only reason why we're seeing this is because we have the uh, the default commands registered, but you shouldn't, but if you look over here on the logs, you're going to see an error over here. Um, Okay, wait a minute, web process folds. Okay, so don't worry about this for now. But you're gonna see that an error occurred, so FFmpeg not found. So what we need to do is we need to go over to here. I'm gonna paste the link in the description, but if you just type in Heroku build pack, this should pop up the latest one, okay? So just copy this link. Okay, you can also go to it too if you wanna view it. But it's just a build pack. 
okay? And it's going to enable um, FFmpeg4. So you're gonna go to settings, click add build pack, control V, save changes. So it's gonna add that build pack for you. And now we can go to deploy. Instead of just get pushing, like instead of staging and committing again, we can just go and do a manual deploy because we really aren't changing anything. And you're gonna see over here, that it's going to show you the build logs, build succeeded, install FFmpeg. All right, compressing, proc file declares types worker. Compressing, okay, so let's just go to the logs again. So notice how over here we had this web process failed. Again, so this happens if you don't have your proc file enabled. So this means that your bot is gonna go offline. So you wanna make sure you have your bot, your bot on the worker and not the web process. That's very important. Okay, so our bot has logged in, and let's just do dash join, and this should work now. Our bot's in. Let's play a song. Uh, cross your fingers. There we go. So let's just... There we go. So yeah, it's currently playing the song right now. I can't promise you that the quality will be amazing, but for now, it seems like it's decent. Because again, we're streaming the song. We're not actually playing the song through our file system. Okay, so Heroku, yeah, I mean, this is pretty nice. Um, you know, I would highly recommend using Heroku if you can't, you know, pay for, like, a virtual private server. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys understand the whole tutorial. Hopefully it was, you know, pretty straightforward. If you guys have any questions, let me turn this off. If you, if you guys have any questions, feel free to join my Discord server. Um... There's people, you know, coming on here all the time, asking questions, and we're always talking about, you know, whatever. So if you need programming help, you know, help with making your Discord bot, whatever it is, just join our server, check it out, say hello, ask questions. And um, yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to leave it down below or leave it down below in the comments or contact me on Discord. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, later. Peace, guys.